Hi, I'm Tom, and welcome to Alley Picked. I found a lot of cool picks during the month of April. I'm always planning ahead for my next projects. I'm not just doing one project in one video, but I've got several going on at the same time, all in various degrees of completion. Now, the only way that I can do this is to constantly be on the lookout for cool and interesting items. Sometimes I find them in the alley. Other times, people I know find things in the alley and they call me up. Other times, I might just pick it up at an estate sale or a yard sale. Now, I rarely know exactly what I'm looking for, but when I do find it, it speaks to me. Hey, Tom, hey, Tom buy, me. buy me. Well, not in some weird kind of like I need psychological help way, but although, never mind. You know what I'm talking about. So let's head out to the garage and I'm gonna show you some things that spoke to me last month. First up, this wheel. Do you have a guess as to what this might be from? If you guessed farming equipment, you're on the right track. It's used to prepare the seed bed before and after planting. You'd see a row of these wheels on the back of a tractor to break up the dirt clods and firm up the seed bed. What am I going to use it for? Well, I'm not exactly sure, but one idea that I've got so far is to use it for the base of an end table. For the middle of the end table, I might use this antique pyrene soda acid fire extinguisher. For the top, I may end up making one out of wood. A glass top would also look nice. What are your thoughts? If you have any suggestions for any item I'm showing you today, please post them in the comments section. I'd love to read them. If I do make a top out of wood, I might use these thick door jams to piece together and cut out a round top. Check out this doorknob and plate. Man, they just don't make things like they used to. The manufacturer's name is stamped on the back. This is a time when people were proud of what they manufactured. Russell and Irwin. It's a company that began in the mid 1800s and lasted over a hundred years. Let me show you what it looked like when it was new. Is that beautiful or what? Some people like the old patina look. I, however, love the original copper finish. This is a wood planter box. You put plants into the plastic liner and then this holds the liner. It has a nice wood carving on the front and the wood itself kind of looks like walnut. It's going to be fun to strip down and find out. I spotted this mirror driving past an alley near my house. I did a double take and drove around to pick it up. It's a little gaudy, but the wood and the carvings are nice. I'm not sure how I intend to restore this one yet. I'm intrigued when I see something and I don't know what it is. Like these wooden pegs. They look like bowling pins, but there were no round balls included. Instead, there were these spindle-like things and a piece of a dowel with a string wrapped around the center. Well, it took me some time and research to determine that this was a popular game in the 1950s called Skittles. These spindles are actually tops that spin and randomly move around the box until they start knocking into the pins. The pins have different point values. Players take turns, and the player with the high score is the winner. A future project of mine is going to be to duplicate the box that these pins were used with. Whenever I find a yardstick, I grab it. One day, I plan to use them all for a tabletop or some other interesting project. Their history, their advertising. A lot of these companies are no longer in business. All that's left of them are these yardsticks. I find them interesting. This is a live edge bench with a couple of broken legs. The wood top looks nice. It has a couple of soft spots on the ends, but I can cut those off. I'll use my hand planer to remove the top layer of paint to see what the wood looks like. I should end up with a very nice piece of wood, which will have many possibilities. Here's a simple wooden storage box with some rusty latches and handles. I have a couple of ideas for upgrading this. 
After repainting it, I want to add these metal legs that a friend gave me. Another option is to cut and hinge the front so it swings open. Then it can serve as a small desk or writing surface. Driving through the alley last week, I saw these cabinets being thrown away. This door kinda caught my eye. I'll keep it until it speaks to me, letting me know what it wants to be. Last up, get ready to see the biggest piece of wood I've ever worked with. It's an old coffee table with the top measuring seven feet long, two feet wide, and four inches thick. To restore this, here's what I'm thinking. First, I'll power wash it. Then, I was thinking about filling the holes and open grain with the blue epoxy resin. Then I'll sand it down and use a clear epoxy on the top to finish it off. Not exactly sure what the plan is yet, but that's the direction I'm headed. I think you'll agree. That's some pretty cool junk I picked up last month. Now, if you have any suggestions about what else that I can use those items for, I'd love to hear about it. Post them in the comments section of this video. And thanks for watching Alley Picked. I appreciate it. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe. Oh, and if you're interested, I started a second YouTube channel. It's called Dad Magic. Check it out and subscribe there as well. Until next time, I'll meet you in the alley.